In this demonstration, you will see how easy it is to use imported data inside the new NX Sketch Tool. A key aspect of the new Sketch Tool is the brand new solver. During the demonstration, you will see how easily it automatically recognizes geometric relationships, making the modification of imported geometry simple. So let's take a look. So the first thing we need to do is to select a file to import. In this case, it's an AutoCAD DXF file. We bring it into NX, and currently all we have is a set of dumb 2D arcs and lines. So the next task is to create a new sketch. So I select the particular orientation and now I'm going to add these imported curves into my sketch. Simply done. One important point to remember that during the import the brand new solver was recognizing geometric relationships. You'll notice some of these geometric relations appear when I select geometry on my 2D profile. Here I'm going to make a modification to the size of the outer diameter of the disc brake. As I select the outer curve, you'll notice I have equal radius arc and offset relationships appear within the graphics window. You can see how easy it is to make a change to this outer diameter. I just select the dimension and then dynamically drag it to size. We'll also take a look at some of the other relations that have been automatically added by the solver. If we take a look at one of the drilled ventilation holes in the disc brake and select it and then select the dimension, notice how all of the other related holes are automatically shown and modified just by changing one dimension. So let's see what happens when we modify the axle diameter. I select the circle, I select the dimension. You notice that the relations appear and as I drag the diameter to a new size, all of the relations are being maintained and I've not had to do any of this up front. The solver has done it all for me. So what other changes can we do to our imported DXF file? Well one thing I may want to do is to change the pitch circle diameter of a set of the ventilation holes and to do this it's a simple case of constructing a new circle that passes through the arc center We'll make this new circle reference geometry and then we'll make a change to the outer diameter and notice the new solver has automatically created a point on curve relation and also an offset so that when I change the outer diameter the pitch circle diameter is modified as well. Finally we'll take a look at repositioning some of the internal profiles of our imported data. Using the new rotate and drag option, I can very quickly just select one of the curves and drag it around, or I can select several at the same time and again rotate it about that center point. But what happens if I want to modify some quite complex geometry? Well, again, it's very easy. I just use a different selection method. In this case, I'm just going to use a freeform lasso around all of that central geometry and once I've completed my selection notice that all of the geometric relations that were automatically found by the new solver are highlighted. Now it can be a case where some of these relations need to be relaxed or temporarily removed to allow you to make a modification. So in order to make the change I need I'm going to temporarily relax the relations. You'll notice that as soon as I relax them they turn a different color, in this case pink. And now I'm able to make the rotational adjustment I need to my profile. Very easy. So that concludes our demonstration. I'd just like to recap on what you've seen. We've looked at importing DXF data into NX and add in that geometry into a sketch. You then witnessed the power of the brand new solver in the way that it was able to automatically recognize geometric relationships. And by recognizing and maintaining these geometric relations dynamically, it made for easy editing of the 2D profile. Thank you for watching.